To test the cranial vertebral passive range of motion, we'll start with uniplanar, but the combined movements are far more telling. So we're going to ask our patient to just tuck your chin in and then relax and poke your chin out. So that's obviously active. But when you're learning to do these, it's really nice to have them doing it first and then your hands take over. So you're going to get them to flex their chin and then you say, now you just relax and let me do it. And I do the same thing and tuck their chin in. And then I'm going to poke the chin out. In a uniplanar side flexion contralateral rotation, I'm gonna look down at the nose and make sure the nose doesn't move as I side bend the right ear and I allow that conjunct contralateral left rotation to occur and I compare it to side flexing, making sure the nose doesn't move, otherwise it'll be neck side flexion. And there we have the side flexion and I allow that little bit of conjunct rotation to occur. But you'll get a lot more information out of combining flexion at the occiput on C1, and then side bend to the right, rotate to the left, which is a maximum posterior glide of the left occiput. I can even use my left hand at that point to push down and assess the glide. And I'm going to compare that to, again, bilateral flexion of the occiput on C1, looking at the nose and inducing left side flexion, right rotation, a posterior glide of the right, which I then push down on the occiput on the right to see how that feels. I can do the same thing in extension, poking the chin out, side flex to the right, allow the little bit of conjunct left rotation. I'm just gonna use my hand under her occiput to push the right occipital condyle anteriorly and compare that to when I extend, side bend to the left, rotate to the right. That's an anterior glide and I'm going to gently reinforce that to assess what that feels like. To do the rotation component in the CV region, which occurs more at C1, C2 or the atlantoaxial joint, I'm going to use the cervical flexion rotation test where we're going to maximally flex the rest of the cervical spine and then rotate the chin along the collarbones. So I'm going to lift up and take her into full flexion and then I'm going to rotate the chin along the collarbone and hopefully it goes 40 to 45 degrees and I get my end feel. Then I go maintaining that flexion to the left and see if that is equal. A positive test for the cervical flexion rotation test is if there is a greater than 10 degrees difference side to side or if there's less than 32 degrees of rotation. And that's how you test the passive range of motion in the cranial vertebral region.